Hi there and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 2. I'm Baron. Let's yes. enter the Drow city here. Okay. Consider it done. That's valuable merchand merchandise, you fool. Please be careful. Please, Master, I haven't eaten in a week. No more of your idiots. Ah. You have outlived your usefulness. Ah. Ugh, my um. legs are just aching. I've never walked so oh, much well, in my I life. Oh well, I guess the Durga didn't survive. Can we rest now, please? What's going on here, Lethal? Leathal? The slave never listens, and I tire of it. The slave is not your property. He's mine. Understand this, fool. You are easier to replace than a trained slave. But, mistress, please, no. <laughs> Idiot. Where shall I find a new slave now? Oh well. Who are you? Draw a priestess. Can I talk to you? I guess not. Nobody's gonna talk to me here. To walk apart from house and queens, to walk into the Do you wish to see the magic I have acquired? I have many a magical device fashioned by Drow Hand, as well as some taken from lesser races did not deserve them. Sure thing, what do you have? Okay, Ruby Rev Reversal, Summon Ginny, I guess that's new. <coughs> and I guess... Could buy a few of those too. There goes my money. Buy. Maybe a mantle too. Let's scrub a few spells then. Okay. Very well, got a lot of XP and quite a nice spells out of that. What did you drop, my friend? No. It's just mine. Why does the get Yankee Captain I have to say? Away with you, drowling. Disgusting me, you are a harming vibration of my ship, will you be away? Fine. He doesn't seem to like draw too much. Where men gather, a bustle of chaos ensues. Who are you? I would save them all if I could. To walk apart from house and queens, to I walk into the grave. Come to my store, brother. You will find my blades true and sharp. No, not better. But remember, well, that I will not replace anything once it has been exposed to the surface world. Edmentite weapons or armor decay are once outside of love, stark embrace. Is there nothing that could stop such decay? No, and of course we would wish it no other way. It would be a great insult for those of another race to carry our weapons. Yeah, but sometimes they do raid the su surface world and it's it's really bad if the weapons of a raiding party disappear. Oh yeah, doesn't that make extended forays to the surface difficult? The draw do not make extended forays to the surface, there is nothing above that we need. Uh, did you watch Menzo Berenson? And uh, we only occasionally raid for specific reasons you should notice. So of course. Now let me see what you have in stock. What do you have, my friend? Gotta be kidding me, that's all. That's shitty. What is that? Harbing on plus three. Ah. There's a five percent shit uh <laughs> shit, yeah. 
It is shit. There's a five percent chance, but I hate that the fireball explodes center to the target. <laughs> that hurts the person who is using the sword too. Stupid thing. Spear of withering plus four. Okay, carved from the heart of a rotten tree, and this spear smells of death. When held in your hands, it groans a little as if reluctant to allow a living thing to touch it. In battle, the spear of withering spits a foul poison into its target upon each successful hit. So we buy uh, two maces. Fire tools. This throwing knife is imbued with magical fire and was supposedly carved from an extracted red dragon tooth. Tavern tales suggests that the beast is still alive, her anger fueling the enchantment within the weapon. Though fanciful, the story is consistent, and it is said that they returns to the thrower as though on wings. That's a plus three weapon. That's not too bad. Buy a few more of those. What is that? Sentinel plus four. A century ago, astronomers noted an unexpected comet sh coming to Earth offshore of the Salt Coast. An odd occurrence. It was made uh, stranger by the lightweight fragments of metal found days later by uh, by blacksmiths. Hufum Fuyurum, who cared little about celestial events, he fashioned the bulk of it into this shield, though the forging took months and the aid of several enchanters. From the heavens? Nay, from my hammer. Armor class bonus of 5. But no special effects. A rope of the evil arch major. We need a rope for Imwen, but she's not evil. Okay. And that's it. So I don't know that knife is nice, I guess. Dagger. Maybe we should use that. Bite. So instead of the sling? Hmm? How do you like that? You use a bow, okay. So let's see. We need some non magical weapons if because there's a special golem that can only be can only be destroyed by non magical weapons. Um what do we have? We have a two-handed sword, we don't need that anymore. We have a scimitar for Jah- Oh yes, the two-handed sword, we do need it actually. That's for Keldorn. The maces are for... Um, Minsk. And I guess the club is for Jahira. Or the scimitar, we shall see. Okay, so I, I guess that's good. Two D four plus three, and it does a fire damage. Not too bad. Oh, really? You don't have a spell thingy, ah. You don't have a thing, a scroll case. That's bad. You need one. What is my task? Do not question the matron mothers. 
Enter and welcome to my store. I offer potions of draw design as well as the work of the finest enslaved alchemists. What have you need of, brother? I would have thought draw potions finer than any other I carry anything else. There's nothing better than draw craftsmanship or craftsmanship or alchemy, but you also take what we wish from those undeserving. You should know this, of course. What do you have? Okay, I want that. That. Ten of those. What is that? Kelly guns. Amulet of magic resistance. Magic resistance plus ten. Ten percent. That's not very much. Rod of smiting. If a golem is struck by the rod, the golem must make a saving throw versus death or be destroyed. Hmm. That's not half bad. So we give that to Jahira. Offhand and use. Oh, you can't use it. Why can't you use it? Usable by cleric and mage. And druids, apparently. Very well. That will come in handy when we fight golems. Damn, there goes my money. On my honor. What else do we have here? Oh, I get money back. That's cool. Do not disturb our lessons. Benefit can be had from these simple torments. Love, they are attacking it. Do not torment me with your words, Troy. I have no. In if you have no intent to release my spirit from this physical prison, I know. Love be praised. Interesting. Do as the matrons order and live. Okay, they do nothing. What do we have here? The Eboleth tank, a tavern, uh, the female fighter society, Direx's tower, Temple of Loth, the male fighter society. So I guess we should go to the. I don't know. Let's explore everything. Oh, that's the Eboleth tank. So, no potions or uh, scrolls for anybody here. Uh, no scroll case. You must move closer to the creature in the tank to converse yes, with it. I will do my best. A loathsome fish like creature floats within the tank. Long leathery tentacles uh, grow from its head, and the smell of rancid grease hangs about the tank. For a moment, the creature is motionless, if sleeping. All right. What is my task? So we can't do nothing here. If, um, wait, what's that? A spirit troll. Who are you? A drow. To walk apart from house and queens, to walk into. The I tree. greet you, male. In the name of the Spider Queen and all the glory that is Usnatha, the first city. Would you care to take a look at the wares I have available? What wares are you talking about? The beasts caged behind me, of course. They are ensorcelled to obey commands for a short time. Amusing as pets, all day they won't follow for long, I'm afraid. A few of the fighting sisters have been buying my stock for target practice. It happens to be a good living. Are you interested? 
Mm, perhaps. What are the creatures do you have available? Hmm, I have a strong null captured leading a group of its fellows on the surface. Tortured and then sold to me, but it's healthy. 500 gold pieces for that one. Let's see, I still have one of the regenerating trolls left. The patrol party captured it not far from the city. Stupid beast, but strong. 750 drill gold for that one, if you wish. I also have a spirit troll. Don't know much about it. The warrior sold it to me two months ago. Difficult to feed, but certainly powerful. 1000 gold. And yes, I have one of the umber hawks left still. And the sisters love those ones. Difficult to kill, I understand. I charge 1500 gold for that. Uh. Well, I don't think I need a slave right now. And who are you? You're a slave too. <coughs> I don't die right now here. My lung! It's flopping all over the dirt! I am but a slave, sir. Please don't hurt me. I'm only trying to do my job as you come on. Uh, okay. Carry on then. What is here? Let me get to that. Yes, we can. No, we can't. Is that a door? How do we get to that? Mm. What is that? Weird. So we should go to the male fighter society. I guess that's what they told us in the end of the last video. The male fighter society, eh? I don't know, but it's up here and I want to explore first, you know me. I'm the explorer type. So they will have to wait a while. Who are you? Slave trader. What the fuck? Is a giant spider? Can I talk to that guy? Through destiny and might, we shall rule supreme. I greet you, male. What business have you with the master of the slave pens? These, these are humans. Children even kept as slaves by these fiends. An outrage. Eh? What is outrageous about it? These are lesser beings, nothing more. Keldon, you gotta stay in character here. We aren't drow. Wrath for the slaughter if you desire. What would you, uh, make, what make you think otherwise? Nothing at all. You're absolutely right. Eh, as you say. You are a strange one for a drow. They must breed them very weak and chat Nassad. No wonder you left that place. Have you actual business with the email, or do you simply enjoy the fetid aroma of pen that surfaces? I am late watering your dogs and you are keeping me from it. Who are these slaves? <laughs> Humans mostly. Surfaces from an ancient from, from a recent raid by the young. All of the passable ones have already been purchased or selected by the handmaidens. I have little idea. What is to be done with these ones? Humans make poor servants, and they are blind as a wrath. Uh, these ones are not even of use in the fighting pits. I suppose eventually someone will purchase them and donate them to the temple to be fed to the spiders for lost favor. Uh, who do I talk to who is in charge around here? That would be me, foolish one. I am the only one who knows the keys for releasing the slaves from their pins. Pens are magical as they are. The mages of Sorcia crafted the cages for the for us to prevent houses from getting more slaves than entitled, and they can be seen by my customers as well. Hmm. How are these slaves purchased? These slaves are available for purchase by noble houses or handmaidens. All lesser creatures exist to serve the greater glory of the Spider Queen. Why? Are you thinking that you require slaves for yourself? You are associated with no noble house that I know of. Return of a mother matron sends you. Um, then I shall be on my way. Okay, we can't buy slaves. I approve heartily of the path that is. I wouldn't know what to so do with far. slaves anyway. The good has been upheld. And Caldon, keep your mouth shut oh, this time. Glory for the dark mother. Dare, do not dare to address me, Mayor. Look down upon the ground when I pass and praise the dark mother of all drow. That you even possess your growling life. Why should I look down on, upon the ground? Did you drop a coin or something? We shall see. I don't know. Maybe there will be time for reckoning and I will kill all those drow in the city. Maybe. Maybe not. Don't quite remember anymore. 
right now we have to stay in character because we have to get uh, this, the the X I think the X of the silver dragon <coughs> I'm so happy and maybe we can you. find John Aranicus here imagined that we would be doing such great things so there is a tavern let's go in Yes. Hey, do we get do we get anything nice on those tables? No. Yeah, two gold coins. I take those. Who are you? Married Marinid. Okay. Let's see what you have to say, my friend. Do not question the matron mothers. Greetings to you, O potent male. Stay for a time if you wish. The group of us here, which group? You are alone. Are sharing exploits and tales of the past. Something I doubt you Nezadrans have time for, eh? I have a tale for you if you're interested. Something my house mother once told me in fact. If you have a mind of this, sure, I'd like to hear it. Excellent. Ha! My tale. My tale begins long ago when our people first descended into the great depths and dark caverns. During a day when our homes were not carved out of stone and clay, dry homes were made of twigs and black grasses, grass that may had brought with that many had brought with them into the underdark. There were few homes, of course, but the largest belonged to the first matriarch. The matriarch let an early let the early hordes of drow, helping them to survive on hostile lands. She was powerful, potent and cunning, a great boon to her people who admired her greatly. To honor her, a group of Thrower sat upon the shark fiends and stole the stone throne of their king to secretly, secretly present to the matriarch as a trophy. They stowed it in the grass rafters of her hall. The matriarch arrived in her hall and the Drow warriors went to retrieve the throne, but much to the horror its weight caused it to fall through the grass rafters and crush the matriarch below. It's a sad, sad tale of our early travails in this dark place, and it uh, holds a we moral are all as well. Heroes. You and Boo and I, hamsters and rangers everywhere, rejoice! Shuddered. Can you think of the moral mail? Boo knows, do not store thrones in grass houses. Yes, yes, that's it exactly, imbecile. How dare you tell such a moronic lie about the history of our people? Wrath will sentence you to an eternity of poisoned agony for such madness. Bah, the Spider Queen has no sense of humor. No, Varun, on the other hand. You dare? I shall kill you in the name of the mother of all draw fool. He is mine. No one interfere. What now? Okay, Drow vs. Drow. Who do we have here? Tethlin and Marinette. Ooh, 20. Shit. She won. Yeah, yeah. Things like that might happen. What do we get? I take that. You can keep your dagger. To walk apart from house and queens to walk into the grave. Oh, Tethlin is a guy? The blasphemous fool, now I must go explain his death to the handmaidens. Bah, a foul worship of Varun here. Oh well, who's Varun? Probably another god. So, what do we have here then? Nym Kalaza. The best surfacer is a dead surfacer! Ah, I didn't see you approach. My fading eyes sh shall net me a blade in my back soon enough, I swear. I should be at home dying properly like an old male drow rather than here listening to tales often. Do we have any tales of your own? I hope this is not a sign of things to come. I have many tales of my past, balance. but I have told them so often I do not care to repeat my words. Let the younger drow boast and beat their chest as they wish. Can I ask you some questions then? Go ahead and ask if you need to know something. I suppose I'm old enough that I can sit still and answer a query or two. Tell me of Loth. Ah, I'll not be the one to talk over much of the Spider Queen. She is a proud one, Loth is, and she rules her cities with a careful eye. If you've seen, if you have any sense, you'll never mention any of the other gods 
other gods? Yes, yes. Varun, the thief god. Gaunador, the slime god of the caverns, are two of her most implacable foes. foes. And then, of course, there's Elistrae. The dark maiden is a good deity of our kind, if such a thing exists. She seeks to turn us from our path of darkness, you see. Bah! But such gods hold little truck with most of the draw. Love is paramount. The Spider Queen is a jealous goddess, reserving all worship for herself. Most tribe will not even breathe the names of the others for fear of retribution. Myself, I am old enough to care little any longer. But surely you all know this. I am not saying anything that any draw would not know, yes? Overlook my long win windedness if you can. Go ahead and ask Gia still the questions. Tell me of House Despana then. A strong house, branches of which you'll find in the cities other than simply Usnatha. Many of the great families have their beginnings here in the first cities, yes? Despana is high in, the fl in Loth's favor, and many say that it schemes to place itself above all others here. I know little of such plans, however. Do you know anything of dragons in the area? Hmm, I know only of one dragon that inhabits the near caverns of the Underdark, and that is an ancient silver beast, Adalon. She was who she who was sent by our surface cousins to guard the old passages. Yes, that one. What can you tell me about her? It is said that the silver dragon once had a mate long ago, a mate who was captured by our people when we were still dwellers of the southern reaches. The heart of her maid was ripped from its body whole, as I hear. The queen of the drow used its heart in a ceremony of great darkness, one that angered an old pale god of the surface elves. I know not which one. Does it matter? When we were driven beneath the surface, sentenced by our fiendish cousins, their god made a pact with Adalon. In return for her vow to guard the old passage to the surface, he would give her what she desired most. Children, probably. At the time of her choosing, when she had grown old, Adelan could call on the god and he would grant her children. Acts that would be made real by the soul of her lost dragon love. Or so the story goes. I hold little truck with it myself. But then, I would never venture into those old passages just in case the tales of her presence are true. Is there any m news more recent? Perhaps you've heard of her acts? Well, I have heard the, I have heard the passage of the surface are open once more. The passages to the servers are open once more. At least the matron mother certainly believes so, gathering the armies as they are. Perhaps Adelon is dead, I know not. Go ahead, um, yeah, okay, that's it. So apparently the story with the dragon eggs are true, is true. Do not question the matron mothers. We are telling. Uh, we are all heroes. Fuck up, you man! And Boo Shut and the I, fuck up! Hamsters and rangers everywhere! Rejoice! How do how do I shut them up? Maybe this, uh, now I get just a picked creature or a selected character. What's this? It's medium is the same, actually. No, select table, selectable character. Okay, maybe this shuts them up. Okay, battle cries during combat are not bad. 
Come on, sons. That's not it. Selection sounds. Yeah, but I did not select them. That's apparently not it. Do not question the matron mothers. Okay, tell me something of Ustnatha's history then. Something of the city's history, eh? Yes, I suppose you would want you would know nothing of it, ignorant lout. Do you even know of the part Ustnatha played in the scattering? What scattering? Bah. Are you completely devoid of sense? Your half mother should be flayed alive for her neglection of your instruction. When the magical battles caused the collapse of what? Berundin, the great cavern once held by the dwarves, most rather crushed. Only the favorite survived. Groups of dwarves fled the rubble in every direction, seeking new holes to establish their power, set upon by our enemies. That was the scattering fool. Usnatha was untouched by the great war and hordes of drow came to our walls for protection. The avowers and itirants followed, seeking to eradicate them. For one centuries our enemies waged constant war upon us. The walls of Usnatha held, however, and we pushed our enemies back in a merciless victory. Many of the drow then left Usnatha to find larger living space, more resources to plunder, establishing uh, your beloved Chetnasad amongst other places. There would be no Chetna Saad if not for the walls of Ustnatha. That is the part of Ustnatha played in the scattering. Do not forget it. What about your own feet? I have slaughtered many in my time, may so do not ask such questions if I have not. I am as battle hardened as any in the fight of societies. I took part in a glorious running one hundred years ago when a cavern leading to the surface was found. I helped raid the communities during the hunt. Many pathetic humans fell to our blades in that running, in memory of Usnatha. I stumbled into a village of the subrace known as Halflings. The diminutive worms scattered. I hunted them all. I have their tiny skulls to this day. The running lasted a week before the humans marshaled their defenses. The humans, co humans collapsed the tunnel, but one day we shall find another, and I pray to again be amongst the drow who will take part in the running. Okay, what else? No, we already had that. Fine, I'll be going then. And we will be taking a break here because it's late. So, thank you very much for watching. And see you soon. Bye.